Whether complimenting a meal, relaxing, or entertaining, cocktails and spirits can spark your dining and social experiences. Join celebrity tastemakers Beyond the Bar as we mix this week's liquid recipe for The Sip. I'm Caitlin Monty, Beyond the Bar at Mamo in New York City with David Blackmore, who's talking us through the spectrum of flavors for scotch using several of the most popular scotches in Scotland. I've heard this is the best selling single malt in Scotland over the past 50 years. That's correct. And I think that's down to it being a very accessible, easy drinking single malt, but at the same time, lots of complexity for even an aficionado to like. Cheers. Now hopefully you're picking up lots of lovely floral perfumed citrus notes. Mm. This is not the peaty smoky flavor a lot of people expect from scotch. At Glenmorangie we don't use peat smoke at all when we're malting our barley so you won't have that aggressive smoky note, it's much more accessible. Something even more interesting, our 18 year old which is partially sherry cask finished. So on the nose that classic Glenmorangie floral perfumed uh, headiness. Ooh. Yeah, right at the beginning, this lovely tropical fruit note, something like lychees and mangoes and papaya, changing to something like a creme brulee and hazelnut. There's a trace of that classic Glamorangie orange citrus in there as well. A little bit more of a kick on the finish, but still an incredibly well-balanced single malt. And on the total other end of the spectrum, <laughs> a very popular, almost cult favorite. What can we say about Ardbeg, the smokiest single malt whiskey in regular production in the world today, where we burn a fire of dried peat moss under the barley that we're using. Which is what gives it Which that flavor it that, that scotch is Absolutely. so known for. Right off the bat, I notice a difference in the color. Yeah, but don't be fooled by the color. People often think that a lighter color in a whiskey means it will have milder flavor. You couldn't be more wrong with this one because Ooh. the peat smoke's creating a lot Yeah, of this. there it yeah. is. I'm smelling it without Absolutely. picking it up. And if I was to sum up the flavor profile here, smoky bacon. Everyone loves right. bacon. Right, exactly. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. People that fall in love with Ardbeg never look back. I know people mm. who are obsessed with Ardbeg yeah, because it doesn't have as much bite, but still all the smoke. I'm a Scotch girl and all of these spoke to that. So thank you so much. You. To learn more about enjoying the spectrum of scotches, visit CelebrityTasteMakers.com. Plus you'll find events, updates, and giveaways that take you beyond the bar. Until next time, I'm Caitlin Monty. Here's to you.